Hey there, Aquarius, what's going on? How are y'all? Welcome to your love message for the month of March 1st through the 10th of 2022. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anyone who may be dealing with an Aquarius, these messages could be for you. I want to thank you guys so much, really, for your light and your positivity, your good vibes. I thank you guys so much for all the love that you bring over here to the channel. I definitely thank you guys so much for just spending your time. Um, and as always, I give you guys those positive vibes right back, okay? Because you definitely deserve it. All right, Aquarius. Please don't force a message if it doesn't fit. If the message does resonate, then please hit the like button, share, or subscribe. Um, and please use your own discernment and intuition. Okay? Aquarius, what are the messages for you? Let's get this last one. Okay. Okay, we have puppy love. That's cute. <laughs> that's cute. I always feel like that's kind of a cute energy. Okay, and then complicate it. All right. Well, that's not so cute. <laughs> but let's keep going. And then flighty. Uh, okay. I feel this. Okay, Aquarius. I feel many of you. Okay, I feel some of you freezing up. Um... You're freezing up when it gets to a situation um, when, like, someone tries to, like, show you some sort of affection or when someone tries to show you, you know, some sort of interest, you know what I mean? Maybe they try to pay you compliments. I really feel like for, in a way, it kind of makes you, you know, freeze up a little bit or, I don't know, it kind of repels you a little bit only because there's like a lot of complicated things maybe that are going on with you right now. Okay, there could be some triggers revolving like affection or lack of affection. Okay, but we'll keep going forward. Okay, we have golden moments. So you do have experiences in love, okay? All right, wings of love. Yes, I always feel like this is about how much you're willing to do for a person, um, Aquarius. And I really feel like um, with this energy there, uh, I definitely feel like there is a lot that you would do. There isn't much you wouldn't do for someone, okay? And then chemistry, hmm, Okay, let me tell you what I feel. I feel like, okay, uh, there may be a situation here with, um, uh, there's an energy here where you are really, you really do connect with someone, okay? Um, and this is someone I feel like you already know. It feels like you, there's some, someone that you would do anything for here with the wings of love there, someone that you already have like an, an established past with uh, to a degree here because we do have the golden memories. Um, but I feel like once they, anytime they try to like give you any type of love or affection or attention on that level, it's like you, your knot gets tighter and it's just like you, that's what I see there. Aquarius, so what's going on with there? Okay. Because you're attracted to this person. We got relationships. Okay. Fireworks. Yes. From spirit. We got hope. We got soul level, pure heart, loyalty twin flame why <laughs> why Aquarius who this person is like it's not even about this person it's really the connection that you guys share together it's just so it's really magical okay and there's probably it's probably not a connection like it any that, that you've ever had ever okay because um, I, I feel like for whatever reason, I don't know, it's just there may be just certain things evolving like affection that just really, maybe anxiety, okay? That it just gets you all tense. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot here. OK, 
Okay, yeah, let's get one more. Okay, we've got the Empress. We've got Temperance. Hmm, okay. Queen of Coins, so Aquarius. I feel like you're waiting. I feel like you're waiting on something. I feel like you're waiting to see. Hmm. There, okay. This Empress energy is telling me that your feelings are definitely growing for this person or they are intense. Um, or some of you, you may be, you know, with child with this person um, or you have a child for this person. But there's something about this person's temper or maybe, you know, uh, maybe something about their temper. You're just trying to see how that grows, if this person is able to grow from that. We got the Queen of Wands. So there's still something that you are giving to the situation. Aquarius, hmm. This person also see them maybe even giving you uh, something substantial for you to hold on to during these times right now, Aquarius. Okay, and maybe this you see this person also as a a, a great balance to you as well. Um, definitely, I see that with the Empress energy there, um, which rules over. Uh, Taurus and Libra. Okay. Okay, so we've got the five. Okay, so we have the five of cups here clarifying the empress. So someone is sad that a situation isn't working out. And I definitely can see that there. We've got the nine of cups with the temperance. So I feel like someone is trying to make do with what they have. Like, you know, it's like, okay, but they don't have you right now, Aquarius. Or they know that something is going on with you right now, Aquarius. But, you know, it's just like they... They're sad about, you know, the fact that things aren't able to really grow the way they ought to, but um, they are, you know, I feel like they are making what they can do work like with you while they can. Okay. Um, yeah. And then we have the seven of pentacles here under the queen of coins. So yeah, so definitely an energy again of waiting to see like if, uh, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to come out of the situation here which uh, I felt like someone was doing that earlier here in the message, okay? So we have the lovers here coming out under the deck, the knight of cups, queen of arrows. It could be you, Aquarius, for sure, okay? And then the page of wands, hmm, page of wands, and then the eight of, eight of coins. So let me tell you what I see here. I see, I see someone working, someone fighting Aquarius, okay? They have decided you are the person that they love and that they want to be with. They have made that choice to be with you, okay? And they feel guided, all right? And they're going to be expressing themselves. You can bet on it that they're going to be expressing themselves. Now, with that Queen of Arrows energy, Aquarius, of course, that's going to be up to you to decide for yourself, okay? Is what they're saying worth me, you know, like is what they're saying actually making sense, Okay? Or are you afraid that they're just going to run off again and be the page of wands and go run off and do something else? But I don't feel like that. This person definitely is fighting hard. They're trying to make you see. Okay. And I feel like they're working on something of value for you. Okay. So interesting, Aquarius. Interesting. I definitely feel like no matter what sort of like triggers or tense or anxious situations that you're going through right now as it relates to love. Um, I feel like the person that may have caused those things or the person that you're dealing with, at least in now, they recognize that you're dealing with those certain things and they're there and they're ready to show up. Like they're sad about it that, you know, that it is causing a little bit of like confusion. Sometimes they're sad that, you know, it does, you know, they're sad that it's a, that it's even a stain or that it's even something to even feel bad about. However, that they are really ready and they actually have already been trying to show up and, and prove to you that they are not trying to just be, you know, no little, you know, F boy no more. Like they're trying to really like be of value to you, Aquarius. They really want to add to your life. All right. 
So let's see what we got, Aquarius. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so let's take a look, closer look at your money. All right, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Do the things that you want to do, Aquarius. Make the decisions that you want to make. Empower yourself. Okay, that's what I feel. That's what I feel there for sure. Okay. And then we have let your friends help you. Ask for and uh, excuse me, ask for and accept support from others. Okay. So there's going to be people out there that are going to be willing to like be your shoulder, be your pillow, be your backbone. And, um, you know, they're going to try to show up for you and you got to, you know, well, you don't have to, but, you know, definitely, you know, it, it, it would be smart to. To let them help as long as that they're you know as long as they're giving you good positive advice and not you know talking no dumb mess into your ear <laughs> okay you are good enough. Yes, you are, Aquarius. A time for healing. Go ahead and rest, recuperate, and recover. It is time for your healing, Aquarius. Okay? Do that. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Bang. Love yourself. Bring in a new love for yourself, a new respect for yourself, baby. You are good enough. Okay? A time for healing. Just go ahead and rest up. Okay? Whatever experiences, trauma you've been through that's been causing all these anxiety attacks and you can't even let people touch you or love on you, just, just take some time. Take some time to yourself. Rest, recuperate, and recover because the people that are there for you will still be there for you when you're ready and they'll be ready to love on you and, and be there for you, Aquarius. I just, ooh. That was for somebody. Y'all go ahead and let me know how this is working out in the comment box below. I definitely want to thank you again so much for your time. Please uh, just, just, be, just be in good spirits, Aquarius. I'll talk to you later. Bye.